Hi there, thanks for joining me. In this video, we are going to be moving a bit further along our proof of the Gauss Markov theorem. So, in the last video, we proved that our least squared estimator for the slope parameter in our population process was unbiased. Yeah, and we did that assuming that we had zero conditional mean of errors. In this video, we are going to be deriving the variance of our least squared estimator under the assumptions of no serial correlation and having homoscedastic errors. So how do we go about doing this? Well, we can write out explicitly our form for beta hat least squares, which we derived in the previous video, which was that beta hat least squares is just equal to beta, the true population parameter, plus the sum of vi ui from i equals 1 to n. So if I'm interested in finding the variance of this process, then all I need to do is I just need to take the variance of both sides. So that's the variance of beta hat least squares is equal to the variance of beta plus the sum of i equals 1 to n of vi ui. And note that because this um, number here is, or because this beta is just a number rather, it doesn't have any variance. So the variance operator is just going to pass straight through that. Intuitively, a, a number, let's say 10, is always 10. It doesn't have any variance. So that's not, not going to contribute to the variance of our least squared estimator. So we can write that the variance of beta hat least squared is just equal to the variance of the sum of i equals 1 to n of vi ui. So then we can write this using um, the fact that we have no serially correlated errors as well, the sort of variance goes within our sum. So we've got the sum of i equals 1 to n of the variance of vi ui. And notice that the way in which no serial correlation um, of errors has allowed me to do this is because if I did have serial correlation of errors, as well as this term, I would also have another term, which was the sort of sum where for i does not equal j of the covariance between ui and uj. I've sort of forgotten about this vi for now, but it would have some sort of structure whereby there would be a covariance between ui and uj for i does not equal j. So if I didn't have serially correlate, or if I didn't have no serial correlation rather, then I would have to include this term here. But because we are assuming that there's no serial correlation, I can forget about this and I can just write out the variance as being um, contained within the sum, uh, forgetting about the covariance term. Then I can use my uh, assumption of homoscedastic errors to assume that my errors variance, so the variance of ui, is completely independent of xi. And remember that xi is contained within my vi here. So that just allows me to write this as the sum of i equals 1 to n of vi squared times sigma squared. And note that it's vi squared because we know that the variance of a sort of number a times some stochastic variable x is equal to a squared times the variance of x. That's just something which we need to know. Um, so we've used that um, in order to sort of square this vi term here. And notice how hetero or the assumption of homoscedastic errors has come in. This sigma squared here doesn't have an i subscript on it. In other words, it's completely independent of x, um, which it wouldn't be if we had heteroscedastic errors, which means that finally we can write the variance of beta hat least squared is just equal to sigma squared times the sum of i equals 1 to n of vi squared. And we just called this sort of sum of vi squared the constant gamma. So that's just equal to sigma squared times gamma, which we know is greater than zero. So in this video, we have derived the variance of least squared estimators under the assumption of no serial correlation and homoscedastic errors. In the next video, we are going to be creating this sort of new estimator, which we're going to call beta tilde. And we're going to be deriving the set of conditions for this uh, linear estimator to be unbiased. And we're then going to derive its variance. And in deriving its variance, we're going to find that the variance of beta tilde is greater than or equal to the variance of beta hat least squares. In other words, there are no other linear unbiased estimators 
which are better, which have a lower sampling variance. I'll see you then.